You know, flying into Key West is one of the best things you could ever do for your soul. The only thing better is if you flew into Miami and you drove down Highway 1 so you could see the whole trip down Highway 1. There's nothing like flying in and seeing that emerald green water, that little island shining in the sunshine. This is a story of behind the scenes of Tiki Man Radio on our last trip down in March 2021. And all the people t- take good care of us. Once you turn out of the airport and you turn on to A1A, Smathers Beach is on the left. All you can see, as far as you can see, is that emerald green water. And there's nothing like a stroll or a ride down A1A in the morning time to replenish where you should be in your world. There are just some things out there that are meant to be. And A1A in Key West in the morning time is a very special place. Now, a lot of people come to Key West for the parties, right? It's party time. (laughs) And in March of 2021, spring breakers were wide open. After the pandemic of 2020, everybody wanted to get out and go to the beach. Go to Key West. Let loose. Get your free spirit back on. And we were no exceptions. But for Tiki Man Radio, it's all about the people on the island. It's about the places that we go, the people we get to hang out with, and the people that take good care of us. When you've been away from Key West for quite some time, you know there's just something that's missing in your soul. You know that no matter how good things are, no matter how things go right in your life, if you haven't set foot on that little island, you know you're missing things in your life. But Key West, with its 85 degrees temperature year-round, makes coming to a little island in the middle of the water just so much more special. If you've never been to Key West, I highly recommend that you spend time going around the island, not just going and partying, although there's plenty of that to be done. Now the preferred way around Key West is on a bicycle. Or as I like to do, take a walk, okay? Because even on a bicycle, you're going to miss out all the little nooks and crannies of Key West. The little houses, the colored houses, things that uh, you normally wouldn't even see. But if you're on a bicycle riding around Key West, it is amazing, especially in the morning time. It's like you have the whole island to yourself. 
this particular morning we were going down to Mallory Square so we could do a little plogging. Now plogging is where you pick up all the trash and cigarette butts, keeping the little island clean. We always try to make time for a little bit of charity work when we're in Key West because it is our second home. Some years ago, I came down doing radio in Key West and thought, wow, man, this is the place to be, and I love doing radio all over the island. But what I discovered through the years of going down was that I love the people. I love the island itself. I have a high respect for the island. And that's why during 2020, during the pandemic, I decided not to come down to Key West because it was the right thing to do. It was a little bit of irresponsible part to come down to Key West during a world pandemic and leave the people that I love with all of that. So, we didn't go. Like I said earlier, the preferred way to get around the island is to walk. Anytime you can go to Key West and carve out some time for you to walk from, say, the waterfront or down some back roads or over to the Key West Cemetery, this is where you're going to find all of the little hidden nooks and crannies of Key West. So to make some time for yourself, grab you a cup of coffee early in the morning and just go walking, exploring this little island.
Now, some might ask, why do I need to go to a cemetery when I come to Key West? <laughs> well, the Key West Cemetery is a lot like the city itself. Quirky, crowded, colorful, and full of history. It's free, of course, and makes a great stop on a tour of Key West. The Key West Cemetery is at the corner of Old Town, halfway between the historic Key West Seaport and West Martella Tower. It has several entrances, but you should make a point to start at the northwest corner at Passover Lane and Angela Street, because a small office there has an excellent free walking tour guide. And with a walking tour guide in hand, the Key West Cemetery reveals fascinating stories of Key West and its people. few trees in the cemetery and most graves are in above ground vaults like in New Orleans and for the same reason the high water table the cemetery is like a town of narrow streets instead of houses there are rows of whitewashed rectangular boxes instead of people there are chickens and iguanas it is weedy and overgrown with a forlorn air of a forgotten place Amid the sun-washed vaults, there are lovely statues of angels and lambs, and an odd one of a naked, bound woman. A prominent monument is to the USS Maine, which was blown up in Havana Harbor in 1898, killing 260 American sailors. Two dozen of those dead are buried here along with other veterans of the Spanish-American War. An iron fence and gate brought from Washington, D.C. protects a neat grassy yard. A poignant story that reminds us of Key West's southern history is represented in the grave Manuel Cabeza who died in 1921. The World War I vet had a relationship with a mixed race woman and was tarred and feathered by the KKK for it. In retaliation, he shot and killed one of his prosecutors on Duval Street on Christmas Eve, 1921. The next day, a posse removed Cabeza from jail and lynched and shot him. Key West Cuban heritage is strongly evident with a section devoted to those who fought and died in the 1868 Cuban Revolution. There are graves with familiar names that now mark key sites in Key West. Ellen Mallory, which of course is Mallory Square. Mallory Square is named for her son. Secretary of the Confederate Navy and William Curry, the family's Curry Mansion, is a popular historic B&B. There's the grave of the real Sloppy Joe, Sloppy as he was called, Joe Russell, who was Ernest Hemingway's fishing guide and a famous Key West bartender. The historic Florida Keys Foundation offers walking tours of the cemetery twice a week for a fee. But for me, when I'm in town, I just love to go it up early in the morning with a cup of coffee and go walking through the Key West Cemetery. Watch out for those palm trees though. Those coconuts will fall on you.
Of course, if you really want to have some fun, take a dinner cruise on the Sunset Cruise with Sunset Water Sports like I did with the Cockfish Nation, powered by Key West Finest. And I highly recommend you bring about 12 or 15 of your good friends along with you like I did. Of course, there's nothing like going over to a friend's house that decides they're going to have a cookout for you while you're in town. The Shanty Hounds, Danny Hoy and Key West Chris invited us over for a cookout. Danny and Chris live on the island and they play about 300 plus shows a year all over the island. Now there's two kinds of trop rock artists out there. I always like to refer to this as People that are writing songs about going to Key West, which is about 80% of the artists out there. And then they are the Key West Chris and Danny Hoys who are writing the music about being on an island. Those are two distinctive different songs. Some of the best times I've ever had has been with these two right there on the island. Hanging out and having a good time. As a matter of fact, the first hand I ever shook in Key West was Key West Chris. First rum drink I ever had was with Danny Hoy at the rum bar. She probably don't remember that though. But the best times I ever had was hanging around these guys. So if you're in Key West, make sure you check out the Shanty Hounds. Trust me, they'll be playing around the island. Also, make sure you check out B-Man and Michelle. Those are our good friends as well, and they are always playing around town as well. 
Saturday was time for another adventure. Heading up the Keys a little bit to Summerlin Key and backcountry pontoon rentals. Headed out to Marvin's Key. This is one of the things you really need to do if you're going to really experience the Keys is get out on the water and have some fun. This particular day, Key West Finest really gave us the VIP treatment. If you're going to Key West and you want to do something as cool as go out on the pontoon boat at Marvin's Key like I did, reach out to Key West Finest. That is your hookup for everything on and off to Ball Street. They have a concierge service that's also on Facebook. You can ask Key West Finest Concierge Explanation Point and Jackie will reach out to you and she will book all these trips for you. Now they're not a travel agency, but they are your hookup for everything on and off to Ball Street. Amber, who is Key West Finest, the queen as we call her, has been in Key West for about 28 years and knows everything and everybody. So if you want to go to Key West, reach out to them at Key West Finest or ask Key West Finest Concierge Explanation Point 
and book your trips, your helicopter rides, your pontoon boat rides, your fishing trips, things you want to do that is outside the normal realm of Key West. They'll hook you up.
Next, it was time to head over to my buddy Gary Eck with 104.9 The X, Key West, baby, the sound man from hell. He invited us over to his boat on the waterfront for a cookout, so we brought all of our friends and had some fun. Whenever I'm in town, I always try to have some fun with Gary doing some radio, and we've had a lot of fun over the years. The only thing better than doing radio is doing radio with those who enjoy it as much as you do. It was finally time to head to the big show. Sunday mornings with a Tiki Man live from Key West. Coming to you live from Dirty Harry's, baby. Our new home for the Tiki Man Radio Songwriter Showcase Key West Bound. Good morning, everybody. Rise and shine. We're back on Eastern Island time right here at Tiki Man Radio. TikiManRadio.com. Your happy place, baby. Coming to you live. Now, there's nothing better than doing a show in Key West live, okay, with all your friends, especially from a new venue like Dirty Harry's. We're pretty excited about the fact that this year's fifth annual, that's right, five years, Tiki Man Radio Songwriter Showcase Key West Bound going into its fifth year uh, is going to be at a new venue where we have some drink specials, we have more room, we have a bigger stage, there's food, there's all kinds of excitement that is going to be around this event. You don't want to miss it.
I just love hanging out with these people, having a good time, enjoying radio and a beautiful Sunday. There's nothing like being a part of Sunday mornings with the Tiki Man. It has been my life's passion to do this, and I absolutely enjoy every minute of it.